I'm Peter Salmon. I was born on Maroon Station. But I got a nickname too, Nidagra. I've been living in the body bush, full of a tree. And one old lady went looking for the wickety grubs. And she found she found one and put a bar through it because she was digging up the bloody roots for the bar. Anyway, she busted and sang out to my mother. They were all out there hunting for widgety grub. And uh, oh yeah, I bust this one. Oh, Mum said, "Oh, I'll give me, I'll, I'll eat it." Of course, you can't eat it raw. And she had it, and she started to sick up, spewed up, and all that. Oh, lady said, oh, "You know, you're pregnant." And later on. Looking at this moon when she, you know, after a while when she was pregnant, and the old girl said, "Oh, you, you're gonna have a little boy." And she was right; that was me. But this is her mark here. Look. That's a bar mark when she was digging the body. Went through the root and got the which is it? Grub, or what do we call it? And that's a mark there now. Mum used to tell me, oh, me and my uncle. Now there's a cheeky man coming around. You kids better hide away, otherwise, he'll take you away. Because we were two outcast kids. They're picking up all the Afghans kids. So we go down the river over there with a the Shanghai and shooting bird and all that sort of thing. And there was bloody wild ducks. We sort of get them with the Shanghai and go down there and cook them all and come up and peep if that motor car's still there. This cheeky man. No, motor car's still there. We don't come home till about sundown. Sneak back to the camp. Next morning, that that bloke take off, and we was right again. Hmm. And this is this is the reason why I never went to school. How to catch fish like was uh, without a hook. We got stuff to put in the water. And catch these mullets, smother them. It's a milky stuff, but not in a big pool. You find a little pool and spread it out there, and then it's all all milk come up and smother the fish and just chuck them out of the water, and you got them. Been taught by my old grandfathers and mother. Yeah. Well, what I'm doing now is language and looking after my grandfather's sight and all that. That's all important to me. Having all the sight and the boundary, water hole. And the language. Thank you.